What up, Scorpio? Okay, this is for March until the end. Um, I pulled some cards. These two already fell out. So, Five of Cups. Change, conflict. Some of you, conflict, change. Feeling like, oh my God, I can't believe I lost this and this and this. Don't obsess because behind you, you have two other cups. These are positive, good things that you value. Focus on these and helping these grow because these are new opportunities, ideas, inspiration. Maybe up until now, you've been working on a few different projects and some of them failed, failed, failed. Two of them are good. Focus on these two. Don't get caught up on everything you're losing or the change or whatever. Also, some of you, for your mental health, for your physical health, you have to stop. Slow down. Just stop commenting with everyone. Stop answering all emails, text messages, phone call. It's like, slow down. Eight of Wands reverse, slow down. Slow down. I think maybe some of you had like a trip canceled also I'm hearing, so like, don't be upset. It, it happened for a good reason, so just like wait. I think it's just a lot of release. <laughs> um, five of Wands reversed and the Devil reversed. Five of Wands reversed, Devil reversed. It's like you're noticing toxic people, patterns, um, places, things. You're just like, I can't. I can't fucking do it. I'm like, I'm done. I can't commit to this. I'm committing to too many things. I'm feeling overwhelmed. There's too many um, opinions, like cooks in the kitchen. It's just like, everyone, just leave me alone. It's like, you wanna just retreat and like hide? Then just hide. Like, take a break. March, I think, is going to be a big change. Um, around the 22nd, 23rd, we start Aries season. So that's the new energetic year. So like really you're going to notice that you'll have more energy next month, like um, January, February, March, April. You'll notice you feel better because March, you took time for yourself. You slowed down. You took a break. You weren't involved in so many things. You were like not so busy. It's like, I think also just a lot of yeah, like you're just depleted, exhausted, some of you. Some of you are exhausted, depleted, sad, feeling like I've been working and working and working. Like, why hasn't it showed up yet? Where's the fucking answer? Where's the fucking results? It's like, it's coming. And maybe that's what you think you've lost because you're like, I've worked and worked and like nothing came back. But like, it will come back. You will get your results or your answer or whatever but now it's just not the time now's the time for you to figure out how you want to let go of old cycles old toxic people patterns maybe you've been drinking too much diving into like your water sign also right so now with pisces it's like your sister sign pisces and the retrograde like the Mercury retrograde is in Pisces. So with Scorpio and that retrograde, it can be easy to get like lost in old patterns, addictions, um, dependency issues, drugs, drinking, etc. sex, eating too much. It's like, just slow down. Just stop, unplug, disengage. I also feel like some of you just need a like good cry and to just like let go of all that shit. We've got seven of swords, bottom of the deck, boundaries, boundaries. You need to protect yourself. You need to protect your mental health, protect your body. Um, you need to say no. And if you say no, commit to no, boom. Don't like, no. Uh, okay.
okay, fine, I'm flexible, and I'll just do what you want me to do. It's like, no. Like, chill, slow down, tell them no, and mean it. Say no. Like, I need me time. I do see here, too, like, this conflict. People wanting to defend themselves, explain everything, get, get it out. They're not hearing you. They're not hearing you. They're not listening or they hear what they want to hear, not what you're saying. So it's like, it's just wasted time, wasted energy. Like, yeah, y'all, y'all are fucking, Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords is like you're in your head. You're feeling stressed, anxious, nervous, maybe frightened. It's like stuck, oh, I feel trapped. I can't do anything because you want me to do this and you want me to do this and you want me to do this and you. What do you need? What are your needs? This is what we're going to value. This is what we're going to focus on. This is what's going to bring us back into balance, joy. Joy, balance, comfort. I think some of you need to just go visit home, family, old friends, connect with them and just socialize. Like light, light, light. You need to figure out how to keep March light because the heavy, dense energy that you've been dealing with, and this is like not for all of you, of course, but like there's just this, vibe of like ugh, draining depletion it's like no you need to figure out how to fill yourself back up and feel better about yourself and your body and your beauty and your projects and your focus and your goals not what they need i we don't care you can like i'm not telling you to kick everyone out of your life and like block like no but it's like you can't help other people if you can't help yourself first. So first, don't keep yourself, no, your top priority, they can be like here. This is like family, close friends, whatever, but like, we need to figure out how to disengage, clear out some of these old people, energies, just feel like a lot of people have maybe been relying on you for something and you're like, oh my God, it's like weighing me down. It's like, no, you need yourself right now. And this is like a really common theme. Like the past like five readings, they're all so similar with like, no, I can't help you all. I need to help myself first, prioritize myself. And then later I can help, that's fine. But with new Boundaries, new rules, structure, idea. It's like, you can't let, okay. Yeah, babe, new, 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 new. 10 of swords, exhaustion, we're done. This cycle is completing. It's like now I wanna disconnect and figure out how the next cycle can be better for me because up until now, I've just been exhausted, exhausted. People are taking advantage of me. It's like, no, I'm kind. I wanna help, I wanna support. You can't help if you're drained. Like, new projects, ideas. Some of you, new ideas, projects, travel. Um, you may be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. It's also just the idea Aries season, you will feel more ready. You'll feel like you can do things. I think some of you will be planning a trip or traveling. Um, it's just feeling like, okay, I feel inspired to take action again. Some of you are meeting a new person for sure. They will be like exciting, vibrant, um, assertive, determined. It's also that idea 
if the opportunity shows up, grab it, grab it. But you're not jumping into it blind and just hoping for the best. Like, no, it's, I'm grabbing it with a plan, determination, perseverance. I'm gonna go, go, go. Don't rush it, just slow down. Take it easy for yourself. And when the opportunity shows up, okay, I feel better. Now I can grab it, figure out how I want to apply that to my life and move forward. There's definitely, um, yeah, the sun here. We've got new connections, new agreements, contracts, work, lovers, etc. cetera. Um, this could be, okay, okay. <laughs> Some of you like, woo, meet like a hot puppy. Like, okay, <laughs> he's gonna be hung. <laughs> I'm sorry, I heard that very clearly. Um, but you will be feeling really good about this person. You're gonna be making new connections, new um, ideas, inspiration, creativity, but growth, growth. A lot of opportunity for growth with that person who you're going to meet, okay? This is looking cute. Um, could be love for some of you for sure. Maybe it's just like a fling but you just enjoy yourself. I think maybe you've been like so stressed, stressed, stressed. I'm like, eh. it's like, maybe you just need a quick fling and like, pop, pop, pop. you feel good about yourself again. I think another person maybe will show up to help you feel more confident again, feel more ready. Like, boom, I can do it. Yeah, I've got King of Rods here too. Like King of Rods and the Knight of Rods, like someone wants to meet you. Someone is thinking about you, trying to figure out how to approach you, or you are thinking about another person, figuring out, okay, how can I approach you? But you can't approach them now, you're exhausted. Like, first figure out yourself. Towards like the end of March or like April or when Aries season starts, go for it. But now, for the next two weeks, three weeks, like, disconnect, focus on yourself, clear, clear, clear. Don't obsess about everything that you've lost or all the change or like everyone taking advantage of me. It's just like, it happened. It's fine. We learned something. Now we let it go and we clear it, okay? 10 of Wands reverse. 10 of Wands reverse is like, eh, all the responsibility, everything's like, pat. drop it, drop it. It's not yours to carry. It's not your fucking responsibility anyways. Like. Why do you feel like you have to take on and help everyone or take control of all the situations? It's like, you're doing too much, okay? You're doing too much. I'm gonna do one more card. Three, two. Yeah, y'all need to fucking relax. Three of cups, relax. Celebrate all of your success up until now. Celebrate just yourself. Go out, meet with good friends who understand you, not take advantage of you, not drain you. It's like people who understand your vibration and you're on similar paths or whatever, like those are the people you value that you wanna connect with. Um, also, I think some of you will meet that new person through friends. Um, I think you have something to celebrate, maybe birthdays, parties, wedding, something good is, is coming up. Um, but this is just like, just chill, relax, enjoy yourself. You need to find light energy because it's been heavy, busy, stressful, etc. okay? I have the full moon workshop coming out next week. It's 11 bucks, they're really helpful, we do meditation, like short, short meditation, visualization. We create a list of everything we want to clear out and let go. Um, I do tarot, energy readings, the astrology. It's like, there's a lot of information. It's around 30 to 40 minutes. You do it at home, online, on your own time. Um, I send you a link. It's really helpful. 11 bucks. Um, if you want a personal reading, click link in my bio. Instagram and good luck, uh, good luck. You'll be fine, just like take a bit of a break, rest and get ready because next season, Aries, we start the new year energetically. So boom, 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 boom. Okay, love you, ciao.